trying to get up here to where I have a vantage point across the canyon, about four to six hundred yards, maybe eight hundred. Coming up the trail, there's some fresh tracks heading that direction, so that's a good sign. Maybe something got pressured in there the first couple days of season. I was the only one at the gate this morning, so hopefully I'm the only one up here. Luck is when skill and opportunity comes together. With the amount of time Travis spent on the mountain this year, the scenario that he was waiting for was finally coming to pass. He stumbled upon three bugling bulls, and he decided to go after the better sounding one. When he got to a better vantage point, he quickly spotted the bull across the basin. All he has to do now is set up the 338 Ultra Mag and wait for a clear shot. Oh, that's perfect. Well, I just watched the footage, and that's a nice bull, and I hit him good two times, and the last shot dropped him. That is unbelievable. I've always wanted to kill a bull in this basin. I've hunted a lot in my life, and never quite, it just has never panned out. Camp here today, and there was actually three bulls bugling, and that was the biggest sounding one, so I got up here to get a better vantage point, and uh, saw his cow, saw him, I almost took a couple questionable shots just getting antsy, but decided I had all day to let the let the snowstorm pass and just wait for a good shot. And I kept bugling because he kept turning around, must have been going toward his other cows. But because I kept bugling, he came out and bedded down looking over the canyon. It was just absolutely perfect. It looked like I'm ah, talking too fast. I'm so excited. Looks like I drove him the first shot. He got up. I was able to get on him again and just shoot for yellow as I saw his antlers go through the trees there. And on camera it dropped him. Oh, I am so excited. I've worked hard for an elk this year. Well, here's my situation. I was walking up the hill and I spotted the cow, so I didn't have time to get a great setup, but good enough. Now the snow's rolling in again. And the bull is dead right in there. He did not go far at all, but I'm lucky I got him because he would have wrapped around this ridge and I would have never seen him. Sweet. Nice heavy six. That's awesome. That's a great bull.
I'd say hit something pretty important there. Blood out fast. That's awesome. Heavy six point. Can't beat that. I am super excited. Dandy bull up in the snow, solo hunt. Got it done. Well, couldn't be happier with this great bull. Great mountain bull, just super heavy. Uh, alder, dark horn, ivory tip bull. I'm just really excited. Hunted hard this season. I spent pretty much the first month of September helping other people, helped Tom get that big bull. Went down south and helped a friend and his wife. Uh, she drew a super tag and she got that big bull. And then uh, I hunted a few days for myself with archery and couldn't get it done. And a couple days ago, Trevor got a nice bull. And so I was down to the last, last one in the family for last brother for getting an elk. And came up here this morning and hiked like crazy in the dark. Um, got up here and to a spot where I thought that you know the elk would pull with pressure and sure enough this is where they were uh, you know been getting pounded for three or four days by people and they just pull in here because they're safe it's not very many people are crazy enough to hike up here 600 yards first shot second shot two perfect perfectly good mushrooms Got it all done. Back straps, tender lines, two rear quarters, both front quarters into boned out meat. be hot. Well, it usually tastes good. Just a matter if it's gonna be tough or not. Wow, it's good. Really good, and this was cut with the grain, which they're not supposed to do, but it was a little scrap piece. Nice one. Yeah, yeah. Another bull hits the dust. Yep. Last oak tag of the year. Heck yeah. One shot. It was a fun hunt. Two really good shots. When I first saw Travis's elk, it sure looked familiar. Sure enough, Travis and I had a trail camera photo of this elk back in September at a wallow. Yeah. You got everything? Yep. Got the knives and everything to grab. How's that look, Trevor? It's more awkward than it's heavy. Still heading now. How much far do you think to the vehicles? Make sure to subscribe for more stuck and rep videos. And thank you for watching.